Hello and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be looking at how to install the Sirt UPS WinPower software so that you can actually remotely control your UPS um, and we're going to see how you can quickly set it up to actually view the UPS parameters remotely. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so here we have a Windows 10 virtual machine. So this is just on VMware um, and all we've done is effectively connected the USB cable from the UPS directly to the VMware host. This could just be a Windows 10 host effectively or even a Windows 10 physical machine or Windows Server machine. Um, and we're just going to begin the setup process. So it's going to go through, it's going to ask us to install. So it's going to go through the basic installation, just going to click next. It's going to ask us for a serial number. So the serial number is actually located in all of the manuals for Sirtu UPS documentation. It's on one of the last pages, um, but for the time of the video, I've got it on my desktop. So I'm just going to copy this key. Click next, next. Want to be in the start menu and just click next again. And then install. So it's going to go away and install the software now. Okay, brilliant, and it's now done. So what we can next do is we're gonna get a hidden icon down here. It's gonna start the UPS software monitoring, and then it's gonna ask us to go through a quick setup wizard. So let's just open this up. So it's gonna ask us for an odd password. Now, the default password is actually administrator. And that's with a capital A, and I'm just gonna pop in a new password. Okay, and now I'm just going to click change. So it's now going to say, would you like to search this, the UPS over the serial connection? I don't have a serial connection connected, so I'm just going to click skip. It's then going to ask me if I would like to um, set any shutdown settings or anything like that. So we can say, well, actually, when the UPS gets below, I don't know, 20% uh, of its power, we actually want the UPS to start shutting down. Or we can do it based on the shutdown time. So when it's got less than a certain amount of minutes remaining, we can also tell the UPS to shut down. We'll go over this in a later video. What you can then also do if you really want to is tell it to shut down certain ESXi hosts, but again, we'll come on to that in a later video. So I'm just gonna click skip or rather save. Um, we're not using SNMP in this video, so I'm gonna click next and skip. Um, I'm not setting up email, so again, I'm gonna skip. And we're gonna skip the SMS settings as well. Now, if I want to get to this remotely, I can actually scan the QR code to access it via the mobile web or I can you know, use the HTTPS um, information and set up port forwarding on my router as long as I've got the port quad eight set. Okay, so I'm gonna close. So what we've now got is the desktop. So here you can see my desktop, the USB connection, and we can see the UPS. So the UPS is working, it's got four hours and 25 minutes remaining. It's only on 8% of load, and we can monitor you know, the actual load going through it, the voltage, the temperature, the charger, so if I was to pause the video very quickly and then turn the UPS off, you would then see that it's gone into inverter mode. So I'm just going to pause the video here and then we'll carry on. Okay, and now you can see that the power has been turned off. I've got a warning alarm that says AC fail. The ABM state is now in discharging mode. Um, my time remaining has actually gone up. It will fluctuate slightly depending on um, the software and the load going through it. And also, you know, it's just been configured, so it's just quickly learning. So now you can see that we've got 99% load going through our inverter and there is a load still of 7%. So that seems pretty healthy. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching today's video.